All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Monday. We were playing Cyber Angels, and uh, uh, I really have nothing much to say in this video. There's nothing much to tell, but I uh, hope that you guys are having a great Memorial's Day. Uh, that maybe you guys are having a barbecue or eating out, you know, having a great time. So uh, what we're playing with Cyber Angels today is a little bit different. You might have seen if you're subscribed to uh, uh, Lithium 2300's channel. Uh, you might have seen... Uh, being played, uh, this kind of, like, Herald, Holy Herald, Cyber Ranger, Ben 10 tribute shit. Uh, that's pretty much what we're gonna try out today. I changed his variant a little bit, but I was, I was like, ooh, interesting, I wanna, you know, I wanna try that out. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and bust out, uh, the powerful Herald by tributing, of course, Ben 10. And Ben 10, when it is tributed, I get to go ahead and get a search, and then, uh, it is, it's all great. Like, like the, 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 I feel like the plays in this deck are definitely possible, especially with the power of Ben 10 being able to tribute, which means I get to go ahead and search my scepter. Like, come on, I got the stick, I got the chair. Like, like the power is there. Like, holy crap. Uh, so despite uh, ID 10 being on the thumbnail, I mean, there's no ID 10 in here. I probably could have squeezed her in here. When she's tributing, she gets, I mean, when she's ritual summoned, she gets the ritual spell, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but, uh, uh, probably, I was like, eh, you know, you tribute you gain a thousand, that might be useful, but I was like, it's mostly been ten, you know, it's mostly been ten, so, uh, I mean, and you can see here, I mean, like, look at this, like, look at this play that I, I've drawn into, I've drawn into some power right now, so I can just go ahead and go into, uh, the powerful Deltaros, who will then pop a card, draw, and, uh, <laughs> proceed to just kick some butt, like, and then, just tell me that like what I'm what I'm doing right now is not power. I pop, draw, you know, activate my effect, detach, pop. It's like that search, that search, that tribute of um of uh for Benton was definitely helpful. Definitely helpful. So I think I might go ahead and uh play uh tribute again. Tribute my Benton again. She is not once per turn. I can summon you in attack mode, actually. I think I might just go ahead and summon you in attack mode. Uh, I might be able to get off game. Go ahead, uh Harold, get my Ben 10 back. Ben 10, get me a search. Like, tell me that's not power. Tell me that's not power, people. Like, you're like, hello? Uh, I don't normal summon, so that's fine. Uh, and I can search for any, any fairy. Like, that's just power. Like, it'd be nice if I could search for Sephira, but uh, I can't, so that's fine. Uh, just go ahead and grab this, and then I could just go ahead and uh, activate preparation of rights, you know? Uh, go ahead and get me a Harold. <laughs> Go ahead and get me, uh, oh, it's banished, it's banished, I forgot I banished it. It's cool, it's cool. Like I said, I've still got very, very great plays. Is there anything that I want to do? Oh, if I would have detached you, I could have went in M7, yeah, I shouldn't have detached you, I should have detached, uh, the, uh, I mean, hindsight's 20 I mean, you still gotta admit that the plays that I just did were, like, freaking power. I went from fucking, what, six cards to nine cards? A hella plus, hella plus. We're going against Harpies, which is... Totally fine, you know. I got the honest. I can fuck him up, you know, Sephira style. Uh, I could do. I could have went to M7 with these two, but I think I'll just keep them. But no, if I would detach the the chair, I think I have one more chair. Like no, hell no, hell no. I'll go ahead and negate. I'll go. I'll gladly negate. Like, like you can just. Shh, I don't want you to get any pluses. Like no, no, no. <laughs> Like, I, I definitely see the plays, you know, it's, it's not really so much Cyber Angels, but goddamn Ben 10 just tributed, and I get to search for any Light Fairy monster from my deck to my hand, like, that's power. Whether it be Honest, or a stick, or a chair, or, or just more, more plusing, just more plusing. Usually you neg on the tribute, generally with the ritual summon, you neg the tribute, but, you know, whether it's beyond tributing my Tef Nuit and doing that play for, uh, you know, uh, Ultimatus Oak, or I'm tributing my Ben 10 over here to get a search, it's, it's just all good, it's just, it's just all great, you know? all great and gravy so of course i'm gonna have to negate that like that's that's a given that's a given i have to negate that i, I can't have him start holding me <laughs> my plays and plays are already freaking here now now i pitched the freaking hair so i definitely misplayed because i you know if i would have kept the herald i would have had something there but instead i kind of ahead and uh pitch which is fine i'll go ahead and activate my effect i can go ahead and uh pop this Party. Oh, is, is it party time? Should I have a party time? How, how many harp how many harps do you have? You only have one. She counts as harpy lady in the grave, right? Yeah, she does, so. You can go ahead and pump that and then. Those are all gonna be destroyed, right? I guess that's fine, because they're all gonna be destroyed. This card's removed from the field, destroy all the monsters person by its effect. So I guess you get to go ahead and get that search during the end phase. Uh then I can go ahead and turn these two heralds into a uh into a uh, 
M7, of course. I have M7 Detach. No, give me one from the graveyard. Why well, one from the graveyard is that uh, that chair? Because I should have one more chair in my deck, which means that more stick chair shenanigans. <laughs> so, something that stick chair, like, it, it's very, it, of course, you know, stick and chair is a very powerful combo. Uh, but, you know, we never really got a... Oh, I, I drew him to the chair. I, I threw him to the stick. I was like, what do you what do you mean additional summon like that? Go ahead and go into, of course, the Ouroboros. Ouroboros, fact to fact. I think I got a pop two. Add a Star Surf monster from your deck to your hand. Okay, yeah. So I'll go ahead and pop you. Uh, I guess we'll pop you again. Like I said, I really don't want to pop my own shit. Yes, just activate all the effects. Like, look at this, look at this, look at this. I got another, I got pre prep like, like, look at this. This is just shenanigans at this point. Shenanigan or he's got get some Fura pre prep. Like, oh my god. It's just so pleasant. So good. So good. Like I I mean, I can't say that Cyber Engine is our necro level, but just the fact that you get something for your tributes is just nice too. So that was that was fairly easy. Uh, we'll go ahead and get another duel here, back. Alright, another duel. So uh kinda wondering if you even need like this, you know, if you really need this, because these are my tributes. Do I do I you know? What do I need on the other end? Uh, not the greatest of hands. It's a little slow, you know. I need my ritual spell. I need. And there's a lot of things that I need to make this hand decent, you know. So I'm kind of wondering if you even need the products. Like you could be just fine with Ben Ten, but I, I you know, I thought that the Ultimate play might be uh, pretty good. So that's the reason why it's you know, it's here, but. Not the greatest of hands, not at all. You know, not at all, not the greatest of hands. No, it's not Blue Eyes. I know you think that Blue Eyes, you know, Chaos Max is just like, God damn, but no, no, no. Uh, you know, I'm trying to do the, you know, the Lithium plays. You know, definitely say, send something to subscribe to Lithium. He definitely helps, you know, he helps check out what, you know, be good on uh, on daily duels, what's suggested, and, you know, unlike him, where I, you know, generally he shows like, hey, this duel went not great, this duel went not great, this duel went not great, this duel went not, eh, I'm, I, you know, I'll show you the authenticness of it, so, yeah. you know, whether my hand is good or bad, I'm gonna show you both ends of it, and you can clearly see, like, this isn't the greatest hand. Now, if I had a ritual spell, if I could tribute off these two, you know, I'm kind of wondering if you need the heroic still, you know, I think that those my play is nice, but, you know, it's debatable whether it's, uh, it's necessary. I said, oh, Pong's gonna actually go on more of the defensive. That's that's surprising. I thought he'd push, but nope. Uh, no, I still don't have anything. Like, I don't. <laughs> I can't summon either one of these. So I could summon you, but what would that do? You know? So, maybe so I'll just go ahead and tap with Manju and maybe reveal what your deck is. But, uh, for you to go defensive on a Manju is kind of interesting. So. Is it something that you wanted to set, or or is Manju really that threatening? Because I, I don't think Manju's that threatening. Only 14. Come on, you could you could smack his butt. <laughs> don't you want to smack Manju's butt? He wants to smack your butt with his 10,000 hands right now. So go ahead and attack. Because the set card is something that'll fuck with Manju. Got more power to you, but um, you're gonna go ahead and equip your Fog Blade to me. Okay, so that obviously means that we are dueling against uh, some shenaniganery, some PK fun. So. Uh, I think I'll just leave that alone, you know? Like, Fog Blade on my Manju, who's already served his purpose? Sure. There's a, there's, a, there's a handful of cards I can draw, you know? I can draw into the Ritual Spell for a Herald. I can draw into Pre-Pep. I can draw into my, you know, my, uh, my stick. Like, there's, there's a lot of things. Then you just throw the Dark Hole at me, too? Like, damn, damn. Like, hmm, all right. Okay, I see you. So, I'm assuming Banisher, uh... Maybe, maybe, maybe you maybe just use your blade, summon back, and then summon normal summon and go into your break sword. Maybe. Yep, yep, that's what it looks like. Definitely looks like. Kinda wish I would have opened up better against, of course, anything related to PK, because PK PK is so good. Like their traps are good, their spells are good, got that twin twister to fuck me up. Like I would love to go ahead and hold on to my song strike, but I guess I'll go ahead and just lose it as well. And then the same thing. <laughs> You kind of went neg on that one, unless, of course, you have your, uh, you should do it. Because I see the wings now. So if you got your, uh, your toy vendor, then you might see some nice plusing. But looks like maybe just a simple break sword. Or no, no, Dante, Dante, Dante. You gotta go into Dante, of course. 
Gotta go to Dante. Dante is not made for. He used to be the boss monster parting of best. Now he's just uh, a mill three. A mill three in your next heck. Used to be able to respect Dante for what he did in Burning Days, and I was just like, "Hey, you need the mill? Go ahead and throw in a uh, rank three engine, and you'll be milling a butt ton." You know, so not the greatest of mills. Mills are running. You're, you're, you know, not the greatest of mills, but you know, you still have some plays. And of course, Dante's light. I forget that uh, the gloves only gives a uh, thousand boosts to a dark. So it's fine. It kind of felt like you detached the wrong monster. I probably would have detached the robe. Oh, well, you could have banished and got the surge, but. Your mills were not the, the best either, so go ahead and get me for the 25. And now you're really down on resources, so you better hope that I don't draw into anything to get my, my game started. Like I said, my hand, my hand could go from 0 to 100 real quick. Real quick. <laughs> I just need to draw into any, like, there's a nice chunk of cards that I could draw into to get this, this duel started. So, if I can draw into any of those cards, I'd be very appreciative. No! Alright, so... I guess I might, I probably will end up losing this duel, so, uh, you know, this is the kind of dark side that you don't see from, uh, from, uh, from Lithium's end. The dark side of this deck, because I'm not trying anything. Where's my pre-preps? Where's my, my, where's my stick for my chair, you know? There's a lot of, there's a ton of things that I could have drew into to, uh, make this hand, just anything, you know? I, I mean, he, besides Harold, he really doesn't know what I'm doing, you know, and he could easily game me right now. Detach Dante, mill another three, and depending on what he has in his hand and, you know, what the plays also he has, he could easily just game me because I have nothing. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just my bad luck, I guess. <laughs> Definitely not the same duel as last duel. Like, last duel, I was like, ooh, resources for days. This, I'm just kind of sitting here, like, just tooling my thumbs. Like, there's a lot of cards I could draw. You know, I could, you know, I could draw a fear spell. I could draw a fucking Herald spell. I could draw a pre-prep. I could draw my stick. I could draw my... There's a lot of cards. Instead, I'm just kind of sitting here, like, oh, I guess I'm not going to get anything. Again. Not duel my opponent at all. <laughs> you know, this is actually my uh, my third recording because uh, there's some cancer when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh sometimes. You know, uh, one of the things that sucked is that uh, at the first duel, the first recording, I ended up dueling against a guy who's playing Ninja's Dark Smog, anti spell fragrance. I can't set, I can't play anything. You know, uh, and. Um, you know, he proceeded to just be like, oh, yeah, you're a quitter, you're, you know, you're, you're a pussy, and shit like that. Just talking shit. I mean, come on. It's, you know, it's you, yo. It's you, yo. It's just... It's cancer. <laughs> it's, 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 it can be cancer. It can be cancerous. But, you know, so I was like, I, it's like, it, it really was entertaining. It was like six minutes of just, I pass, you pass, I pass, you pass, I pass, you pass, I pass, you pass. And, um, it wasn't entertaining at all. I'm glad that he... You know, milk what he needs to do, toy vendor, draw, of course, with wings and bear and all that great shit. And I guess I'll just, you know, proceed to lose. Like, there's no way that you can't end this duel. Like, literally, all you need is 3,000 more. Like, I know you can do it. I know you can do it. With the, the Phantom Knights in your graveyard, with the cards that you just drew, with the, literally, just a, almost a fresh hand. Like, I know you can do it. I know you can do it. I mean, I would love to see what I'm going to draw next. I mean, it'd be interesting to see that if I would have survived another turn, would I be able to do something? Doubt it, but, uh, yeah, it's just, it's the dark side of it, you know? When you saw it on um, Lithium, so you're like, oh my god, like, this deck is, this is gonna be top tier shit, you just go hella plus, and you get hella plays, and I'm just sitting here like, this is what I drew, I have six cards in my hand, and I like, really can't do nothing with any of them, like, that's pretty bad, it's pretty bad, like, you got game, you got game? If you got game, I'll go ahead and just, you know, admit defeat right now. I mean, definitely looks like you got it, but there's no way. You got five cards in hand, you got still some Phantom Knights in the grave, some traps. Like, you're good. You got game. Like, seriously? Like, that's hard to believe. It's really hard to believe with fucking five cards in hand. Like, come on. Come on. I know you got it. I know you got it. If you got game, I'll go ahead and admit defeat, you know? I, 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 I have no problem with scooping. You know, I don't have any pride. I don't want to fight to the end. You know, I'd rather just go ahead and stop the recording now and go ahead and get another duel. Simple as that. I, I drew into ass. I didn't draw into any of my pieces for plays for, for shit. And uh, I couldn't I couldn't give you a duel. I'm, I apologize. <laughs> I apologize that sometimes Yu-Gi-Oh is luck based and Daniel has the luck of a fucking... I don't even know what kind of luck I have. I just have fucking garbage ass luck. Like, holy shit. Holy shit, so maybe turn these two in like a Dante or something? Gonna twin twister your own shit. Oh. 
Twin Twister, your own shit. Another Twin Twister. Alright, so. Then you just go ahead and banish that. Summon a Boots, turn that into a Dante, and that's literally 5,000, 6,000 right there. Like, that's all you need to do is just turn these two into a Dante. Like, you have game. Like, there's, there's no doubt about it. You have game. And, like, PK Fluffles. Like, okay, I guess. Well, as much Fluffles as you could say, I'm seeing a couple of scissors and all that great shenanigans. But, uh, seeing a Break Sword, so. That's great. So, that's, uh, that's 55 right there. That is, that is game. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. You don't have game. You clearly had game right there. So, spent the last couple of minutes just watching him duel, not me duel. And I think you guys came here to see me duel, but, uh, yeah. So, I'll get one more duel and be right back. All right. Like I said, I'm just, I'm still not sure how I feel about the, the, the heroics. You probably don't need them anymore. Oh, I've got some sticking chair shenanigans, so that's pretty cool. I think I'll just go ahead and take it slow. I mean, unless I get straight up OTK'd, I might have something. Of course, you gotta worry about background and all that, but, uh, you know. I got sticking chair, you know, sticking chair. That, that's a nice plus, which I'll start mission. All right. Getting kind of sick of seeing this deck all the time. Like, see a lot of dark mission. But, hey, everybody wants to play it, right? I don't even think it's that great of a deck, either. That's the sad thing. I don't even think it's that great of a deck. You, know, you easily get rid of Circle and your Eternal Soul. Get rid of those two cards, and the deck just goes... <laughs> so, yeah. it just... Do I have the answer to his play? That's the question. So, pretty much, if I don't get Twin Twister... And another Circle. All right. If I don't get a Twin Twister, then, you know... And he's got the Dark Magician in hand, already set up, Eternal Soul, you know, Magicians Navigate, and he can spot manage me during my turn, I can easily eat a fat dick, so, you know. Because I can summon this, and I can chain this, and I can do all that, but, you know, who's to say that, that set card right there is not something to fuck me up, so. Uh, don't got the greatest of cards right now, you know, there's some Sephiri and I drew Herald, so that's, that's great. I guess I'll go ahead and, uh... Decked in, play my Heroic Seal Convocation, go ahead and get my Heroic. And if I draw, if these two can uh, draw me into uh, into a hero play, I can shoot it off and then, you know, set this for Ultimate to Zulkin, so that'd be, that'd be pretty great. But I'm assuming that this card's probably going to be something Dark Magician related, you know, whether it be Magician's Navigate or Eternal Soul, something to go ahead and interrupt my play indefinitely. Yeah. So, I got the stick chair. So he, he already knows it's coming, you know. And we're hopefully with these draws, I mean, I drew him to Sephira, so that's nice. So go ahead and get that search. Go ahead and get that draw. And uh, there's, a, there's a possibility that uh, that I might be able to bust this out. And if I go into Deltaros, then you can't even chain your uh, your uh, your Eternal Soul. So that'd be pretty powerful. I mean, we're doing stick and chair. And stick, chair, stick, chair. Drew into nice cards. You know, really nice cards. So I'm going to go into Deltaros, which, of course, you know, you can't activate anything response, I'm gonna go ahead and pop that, and you're not gonna be able to do anything, you're probably gonna end up quitting, like, would not be surprised if you end up quitting, because you can't do anything, like, I know you would love to be like, ah, oh, you know, Eternal Soul, but, you know, so, kind of fucked you there, you know, really kind of fucked you there, uh, go ahead and pop that circle, you know, handle Eternal Soul, handle the circle, and now, you know, I'm, I'm chilling on Easy Street right now, so that's pretty good. Drew the Sephira, so I can go ahead and summon Sephira by tributing um, you. Summon you. You. Go ahead and summon that Labradite. Like, look at this. Go ahead and go into Ultimaya Tzolkin. Like, what? Like, this, this, this deck. This deck. Sometimes it has to play. Is that summon Strike, though? Activate my effect. Yes, I would love to summon Crystal Math. Like, oh, I would love to just... Uh, I don't, I'm not sure. Is that how you do crystal meth? No, no, I think you smoke it in the pot. I don't know how to do drugs. <laughs> I don't know how to do drugs. He's dark, right? I would say it doesn't matter. I can negate the honest anyway, but... Look at this! Look, wow. Like, holy shit. Like, like, stick chair. So good. Never been hit in the, uh, in the TCG. OCG? You know, you only got, uh... You got one chair. You got one chair. But three sticks, three chairs... You know, summon, search, draw, go, and, and just the fucking Ben 10 searching, like, if, pre, if preparation of rights was higher, then, mmm, you know, because, of course, preparation of rights can give you that, uh, search, because you kind of need something to search her. But, uh, see another activation of Magician's Circle, and that's the sad thing, is that I still got hella resources. Like, I got, I got the fucking Crystal Meth, I got the Sun Strike, I got, like, you know, I got the plays. What do you get, a Eternal Soul? Yeah, you got another Eternal Soul. Alright. Ah, or he could just hit me with Regaki. That's 
Well, maybe we should have went for Stardust, but hey, what you gonna do? Ow, that hurt. That hurt real good. That's, that's just like, wow, fucking Regeki. Ah, fucking Regeki. Uh, hate that card. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> fucking Regeki. Just, that's all I have to say about that shit. Ah. Uh, so, guess I'll go ahead and search for, uh, so Shira, that's fine. I can't do anything about that. I got Solemn Strike, but Solemn Strike doesn't do shit against what he's doing, so. Uh, so if I get Safira, what does she do? Blah, 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 blah. Draw two cards and discard one. Random card from opponents are at a light. It's like, I have you, I have him, and that's great and all. I really don't have much of anything. Maybe I'll take it slow. Maybe you go ahead and search for Ben 10. Search for Ben 10 and then next turn search for something. But by the way, I'm about to get banished. Like, circle, just like, wow. Like, I ate a fat dick because of Regeki. Like, just, oh! You get <laughs> Yep, go ahead and hit my Psalm Strike. Been great if I got to use that. Too bad I'm not, so. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> maybe you'll be able to game me. Maybe you're not. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> just, just, ugh. Just, ugh. That's, that's really that's all I gotta say. So maybe because I kept the Dark Mission on the field, then I might not get hit with it next turn because he has to have another Dark Mission. If I don't kill this Dark Mission, then he won't have another. And if he doesn't have another Dark Mission, at least I don't have to worry about the Spot Banish or Charm Soul. But, goddamn. Like, maybe I just should have went to Stardust. Like, do I even have Stardust in here? Yeah. Should have went to Stardust. I should have thought, man, he's gonna regeki me, but it didn't, it didn't even come to mind. I didn't even think like, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna regeki me. Didn't even, didn't even come across in my mind that he was gonna have regeki. I mean, I should have known with number generator and just the luck of it all, but uh, just fuck me, <laughs> fuck me. I was like, ah, I turned this duel around. Cool, he didn't fuck me up. And then I was like, never mind, he's gonna fuck. Up. And then, of course, that put the Dark Mission in the grave, and then, of course, Eternal Soul, which means you could summon back the Dark Mission. And that is game, people! Ah! Man! <sighs> Fucking Regeki. Oh, that's game. Fucking Regeki. Oh, that's game. That's game. Yay, Regeki! Uh, I would love that card to be banned, but hey, TCG was like, hey, we should have Regeki! That's. That's fair. You shouldn't even have any fucking threat of dark hole in your own side of the field. Just three Yankee you on it. I kind of feel like I want to get one more duel because I feel so unsatisfied. I feel just dirty. Just bear right back. All right. It's just uh uh when it starts turning into a job, you know. When it starts turning into a job. Please, please, for the love of Christ, don't be monarchs. If you're monarchs, I will probably proceed to go ahead and just off myself. I mean, that sounds like fun. I mean, there's really no reason for you having that, no extract unless you're playing monarchs, which extract monarchs have been doing much more successfully than actual uh, extra deck monarchs. Oh, 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 just dirtiness. Just fucking cancer. <laughs> just banish her, just the dirtiness. Like, all right. So, knowing my luck, one of these are probably macro, a lot of back row, just, just Ugh. 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 Just you get all right? Am I right, people? Am I right? So I'll probably proceed to try to do some play, and then he'll probably be like, no. And then I'll probably just get poked out by 19 while proceeding to get hit with the back row. Like, right? right? You get I'm not doing my effect. Response? You got three back row. Like, I know the shenanigans are back there, so I'll go ahead and activate my, uh, my chair. Maybe possibly, uh, Draw into a Twin Sisters, that'd be great. I mean, I'm, Vanities. I'm waiting for Vanities. Like, I know there's a Vanities back there. No? I know there's something back there. So, go ahead and go into the shenanigans of Sticking Chair. I mean, yes. Just play and draw and play and draw. Like, oh, yeah. Trento Tribute? Maybe you're hesitant? Yeah, I was like, Trento Tribute. <laughs> How'd I call that? How'd I call that? <laughs> All right, so. I might go ahead and do Sephira. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do Sephira. So, Sephira, go ahead and summon yourself. I'll go ahead and, uh, 
I probably won't attack with her just in case, because I don't want to hit any back row. What does this protect? A mission element destroy a battle on a card effect. Uh, I mean, I could probably get fucked up by some holes. Oh, there's someone at the door. Let me go ahead and get that bear back. Alright, so, of course, summon her. I mean, I guess I'll go ahead and tribute Labradite. I mean, I could probably do something with the Sephira later, but. The question is, do I want to attack? And I'm gonna, I want to say no. I want to say no. And the reason I want to say no is because I actually want to get something. During that phase, this card's ritual summon this turn. The light monster was sent from your hand or to a graveyard. This turn while this card face upon the field. While this ritual summon this turn, I get to go ahead and add a light monster and get right back to my hand. I would love to go ahead and add a chair. That way I can get, you know, I still have a stick and chair. So I'm not going to attack. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. Hopefully it doesn't uh, backfire. You know, because the last thing I want to do. The draw to this card would be nice, but I think I'll go ahead and add the way well, I can get the guaranteed add back of the chair. I got another stick, I got another stick, chair, stick chair combo once again. Like that, that's pretty power. That's pretty power. Then I have that set up for next turn. Now whether it'll get off, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Banisher, turn to a tribute. Uh grinder. Okay, so I guess he's gonna get himself two grinder golem tokens and give me something and then probably tribute my shit off and then for a lava golem? I don't know. I don't know. So I'll go ahead and take that Grinder Golem. I don't have a choice <laughs> in the matter. And then these two, maybe for Lava Golem? Oh, you're gonna play that fucking Banishing shit. The Infernal Tempest. That's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. Alright, Infernal Tempest. Ah, yes. Ah, mmm. Mmm. Mmm, Yu Gi Oh! Oh, yes! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Cancer. Cancer. Fucking cancer. Tribute your shit off for the fucking guy who gains attack equal to the banished shit. You know? Oh no, no, no. There's just this token no, dying. Alright. Oh my god. So, I guess I won't be doing any more plays this duel. That's, that's, that's great. <laughs> That's, that's, that's awesome, I guess. So, I mean, there's no more monsters in my deck. No more monsters in my deck, so. There's really no point in doing my stick chair combo. It's cute, I guess. I guess I get to go ahead and draw off of, you know, this. I can't exceed with these two. Yeah, might as well. Might as well fucking well. At least I get to draw into my next card. Maybe see if it's more back or anything to stop his plays, so. Yeah, but. Think about just go ahead and doing this, turn in defense mode, and then just start picking shit out of his hand. It's a light monster with from the hand or deck to the graveyard. I don't think I have anything to make a light monster be sent from the hand, though. So I don't think so. Unless I draw into, like, another fucking, uh, him or something like that. Like, I guess I'll go ahead and go into defense. Like, sure, I'll go ahead and do this play. Ah, Twin Twister. That's actually pretty good. You can Twin Twister, pop his back row. And then go ahead and get my honest back. Well, use my fact. I probably don't need honest, but I'll gladly go ahead and get rid of those two. I think we need those two cards, right? Ah, yeah, it was Mirror Force. So, I guess I'll just proceed to fuck you up because fuck you. And then pick a card out of your hand. Like, ah, Yu Gi Oh! Yu Gi Oh! It's fun. <laughs> oh, this game is cancer. I would have won if I didn't turn this to defense mode, but little did I know I was going to draw into a, uh, into a freaking Twin Twister. Little did I know, but I'd rather, you know, not risk it and, and risk the Mirror Force, which of course was right there, so. So I'm just gonna go ahead and end my turn during my end phase, yes. And I will go ahead and take a card out of your hand. You don't need that card. You don't need it. You don't need the Necro Face. You don't need it. You don't need it. No. You wanna go ahead and scoop? You wanna go ahead and scoop? You got one card. One card. Oh, that Necro Face would've helped. See, you can go ahead and put everything back. Nah. Yeah, ah! Ah, you cancer can't win! I fucking took chemo, bitch! Oh my god. <laughs> I just had the, the duels, the decks, the luck, the people, like, it's just, it's just an amalgamation of cancer. Like, I feel like I would like you show more if it wasn't my job, but it's my job, you know? Like, I, I, like I, my friends, they're, you know, they're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's just like, hey, Dan, you wanna play with You wanna, you know, make a deck? Like, no, I don't, no, I play Yu-Gi-Oh! every day, you know? It's even starting to affect my friends who are just playing for fun, you know? It's just like, you know, 
It used to be fun decks, you know. I used to play my Bell deck, my friend, you know, Rennie, he would play his Dragoon deck, and, you know, we'd have fun. Now it's literally like, oh, well, one of my friends picked up fucking, you know, uh, Pendulum Magicians, so one of my friends has to pick up fucking Monarchs, and the other one, you know, Rennie, he, because he wants to still play, but he can't get you destroy. he just spent a hundred fucking twenty bucks on Cosmos, it's just like, wow, it's just like, you can't have fun with Yu-Gi-Oh anymore, it's just cancer. Just cancer. The whole amalgamation of it's just cancer. And I apologize, people, but damn. Like, I can't say, you know, my plays are so, so fucking kosher either. I mean, for goodness sakes, I'm trying to drop Harold and go fucking stupid plus with the fucking stick and chair and, you know, fucking do crazy shit. Ultimate Jazokin into fucking, uh, into crystal meth. I mean, I'm can't, I can't say I'm kosher either, but, I mean, for goodness sakes, the game just lets me. The game just lets me, you know, you know, I mean, at least it's fun and creative, but, I mean, this, like, like, I haven't seen fucking Grinder Golem Infernal Tempest, like, I haven't seen that shit before, like, oh, yawn, you know, so. Anyway, I'm done. I probably named this episode Cancer, because, goddamn. But, uh, yeah, the first duel, the, the first recording, the guy was acting like a douche, like, he was like, oh, you're just a quitter, you're just a fucking dude, you just quit because you can't win, you're just a loser, like, you know, like, so yeah, he just summoned Dark Smog, Smog, the the bird one with fucking ninjas. Then activated the anti spell fragrance. I can't, of course, I can't play any spell cards anymore. How the fuck am I supposed to ritual summon? When I try to do any stick and chair plays to fucking pop his shit, he of course had the Psalm Strike Psalm Morning, of course. And then he proceeded to fucking just tribute his shit for a um, a three set monster for a uh, plasma. So yeah, so I can't, I can't. Really do traps, can't do spells, can't set traps, can't set spells, can't do monster effects. Oh, GG, fun. Woo! Uh, uh, the second guy, what was the second guy? I don't even fucking remember. I don't fucking remember. Just, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. All I know is that it was only like maybe like 10 seconds in and I just stopped the recording because it wasn't good. So. <sighs> You know, Lithium, he gives you, he gives you that fucking good shit. He's like, here, oh, I don't know, I'm, I'm Lithium, I got that Belgian accent out. Oh, this accent is fucking terrible, I'm probably being really offensive. But, uh, oh, and here's the deck, and here's some duels, oh, look, the deck is so great. And then, fucking, you play it, and you open up, like, fucking the ass cheeks, oh, I apologize. Okay, that was offensive, I apologize, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I'm done. You know, I'll be back tomorrow, uh, trying to do something Slime Swords, I mean, I don't even know anymore, like, I wish there was, I, I put Silent Swords in and I wanted to do maybe Silent Swords in combined with something else, but, uh, you know, it's just kind of difficult, there's not a lot of cards right here, I wish that I got a couple more cards, I don't want to do Silent Magician, fuck that fucking Silent Magician spell, uh, so, I, it'll probably just be more, so more PK action with it, it's not the greatest of tactics, it might be better single, if it was single, I might have done, like, PK Hero Silent Swords in, because, you know, that was a thing, you know, but I'm not gonna do, you know, Hero Denkwa shit and with that tag partner, I'm not gonna cut on, like, points by 8,000, it's too much, so. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Tell me what you, how you guys feel about Yu-Gi-Oh! You know? I think I might like the game a little bit more if it wasn't my job, but because it's my job, it's kind of like, eh, you nitpick out of it, you know? You know, I'm not doing, I'm not playing this game because I want to, I'm playing this game because I have to, so, yeah. Alright, people, thanks for watching.